This church is known as a community church. There are not many places that you can go in this community that people don't know about Swingfield Baptist Church. We are a teaching, learning, grasping church. What makes me most proud of Springfield, number one, is the teaching of the Word of God and the worship. We had been here like two weeks um, in December and it was getting close to New Year's Eve. So we was looking for a church and the first two churches that we went, one was on Brown Town, the door was closed. Um, then we went across the street, that door was closed. And then my daughter, Adriana, she said, well, we go to Spring for your mama. I was like, okay, cause it's getting close to midnight. We need to get in church. We got there and sure enough, it, the house was full. Pastor was, you know, greeting the people saying, you know, just put them over here, put them away, get everybody in, get everybody in. I was like amazed, like, oh my goodness. I mean, even the ushers at the door, they just greeted you. I, I felt at home. The thing about Springfield is that we are very much family oriented and we love families and nobody is left out when they come here. If someone is interested in really growing in Christ, getting to know Christ, I think this is a place that they should try. The gospel is being preached here and it also is being taught. We're not here at Springfield just coming to as a social club. We're here to learn more about God's Word and how God expects us to grow in Him. A friend invited me to Bible study at Springfield and I came. And I was so touched about the way that Dr. Carlson teached because you learned something before you left. I have learned so much more than I thought I ever could. And so that's one of the things I like about Springfield. I came and visited the church. I enjoyed it. It's a down home church. I kind of been coming back ever since and then I made my commitment. There's a lot of ministries to get involved in, in the church, such as choir and usher and all those things that concern the church. There's also outside ministries uh, that reach the lost and reach those that are in need. So those ministries are wonderful. We make sure that we create an environment not only for you, but if you got kids, we have a wonderful youth ministry. There's a youth ministry and there's a young adult ministry. And we, you know, we do come together and talk about what we want. I'm the head coach for the basketball. And the basketball team is consists of young men from our community and also our church. This is a ministry. This is a part of our church. This year we talked about trust. We talked about praying. We talked about attitudes. We talked about different issues and things that teenagers go through. Our young adults have this gathering we call Crisis Coffee House, where we come together and we do poetry and we do music. It is their opportunity to express to God how they want to express to God again in an individual way. The youth do lock-ins, they go out outings on the weekends, maybe skating one weekend, maybe six flags another weekend. They do summer trips. We have been in Washington, D.C., we have been in Tennessee, we have been in Detroit, St. Louis, Savannah, Alabama. The good thing that Reverend Carson has adopted under his leadership is our Watch Care Ministry. For the new people that join the ministry here, they become part of a Watch Care family. The people here, and anyone that has joined that comes will feel the same way that I do. It's a warm, loving congregation. You should come to Springfield and become a member if you want to be in a warm, inviting, welcoming, caring, sharing church.